Hello, Uggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kessler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes from ARRL member Ken Slusher, N2DF. And he asks this, it's a very interesting question. At first glance, you would think it might be practical. At my home base station, I can get excellent VHF, UHF reception of local repeaters using a roof-mounted vertical antenna. I assume something like a J-pole or uh, that sort of thing. But in the house, I can barely copy these stations on an HT, on an HT, because the house is sheathed in metallic aluminum siding that is probably acting as a Faraday shield. Yes, very good chance that is true. Would it be possible then to take the end of the feed line that is inside the house and attach it to another antenna? Perhaps a ground plane or disc cone and rebroadcast uh, radio signals through the inside of the house to permit improved reception on the HT. And this is from Ken Slusher, N2DF in uh, Woodbourne, New York. Well, let's take a look at what he's proposing to do. Okay, he's got a house and there is an antenna on the roof. He's got his feed line coming in and it goes to, I presume, his mobile rig, in which he uses as his uh, home station. Okay, and he says that works very well. And it would, it should. But he also has an HT which is not working inside the house. I presume it works fine outside the house or on the roof or someplace like that. But it's just the signal is getting zapped uh, where it's trying to go through the wall. Okay? Very reasonable, uh, very common kind of a, a problem. What he is proposing is this. What if he were to put another antenna here, say a small vertical, and put the antenna into there so that what comes in here rebroadcast out here and picked up by the HT. Let me tell you why I don't think that will work. The amount of signal that is picked up here is very faint. Let's say um, minus 50 dBm. Okay, and let's suppose it's 100% transfer down to here. This antenna is only transmitting about uh, minus 50 dBm, which is nothing. I mean, that's you need to put the radio directly on that in order to detect that. You retransmit that. It radiates in all directions, okay? So by the time it gets over here, you might be minus 200 dBm or something like that. It won't even break the squelch on that radio. So I think what you're going to have to do is um, you can get a radio... Let's scratch that. So I think you will probably find it doesn't work. I mean, it only takes a moment to try it. But what you're going to find is that what this needs to emit is a milliwatt, which is zero dBm, in order to get through the house, okay? And all it can emit is what's caught from here. Now, if you are using a radio like uh, the Anytone DH78UV, and there are several others that do this, they can act as cross-band repeaters. So you put the radio, and they're usually, well, a lot of the mobile rigs have this capability too. So, there are too many red lines here. Red lines have been in the news lately. Okay. What you put here is a radio that can act as a cross-band repeater. And you connect the input to 
the external antenna, let's say this is two meters, okay, it comes into here and it sends back out a uh, signal on 70 centimeters, okay, and then use the 70 centimeter, almost all radios these days are dual band, set this for 70 centimeters. You can be anywhere in the house or near it, you know, so even if this thing's only a milliwatt, you'll be able to pick that up just fine. And if you set the frequencies right, get the goes in, goes in, does and goes out is correct, you'll be able to operate against the two meter repeater using your 70 centimeter handheld from any, anywhere in your house or in your yard. Okay, so you may already have the equipment to do this. If your mobile rig can act as a cross band repeater, okay, and it will use the same antenna, so that's no problem. Put it on its lowest uh, transmit power. Um, pick a simplex frequency on 70 centimeters. Put this radio on that. That way, when something's coming in on the repeater, it will come out at 70 centimeters, and you'll hear it here. And then when you push here, simplex, okay, back to here, it will go out on the repeater's input frequency. Now, it will take you a little while to set that up, of course, but it will work. It will work, and it will work quite well. Um, I think I was reviewing the TYT 8000E or something like that and showed how this worked and actually demonstrated it. That was a long time ago, but this idea will work, and you won't have that problem. In fact, you'll have an exceptionally strong signal. Uh, throughout the house. So, Ken, I hope that uh, answers your problem and uh, can help you out uh, with getting reception anywhere in the house so you can carry your handheld with you and have the full use of that repeater. And you can set up channels on the thing so that it will do the same thing on other repeaters too. All right, there you go. And uh, Thank you for being a RRL member and um, reading QST, where this will appear in the column. And I invite others to join the ARRL. If you would like to support my channel personally, you can go to dcastlercom support and find a way to do that there. And until we next meet, 73.